head start. Alsty. Just, just, yeah, play yo, game one. Is Alsty, am I pronouncing it right? Can I just say that? Uh, what, are you, what are you saying? I think it, I said Alsty. It's pronounced outside. <laughs> Ralphie calls me Oosty. So he, Does he really? Yeah. No, but in all seriousness, though, I have never cast Oosty before. Have, Austy. It's, oh, so my name is Austin. Austy. Outside. My, Austin. Shut up. My name is Austin, and then the, my friends called me Austin. That's thus the name was born. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I was just just trying to make sure I was pronouncing it right. Don't don't want no disrespect. Yeah, you pronounce it okay. Trent. Okay. All right, but here we go. We got House of Three Thousand Winners Finals. Hach Dill versus Hach Ralphie. This is <laughs> this is H O three K rigged. I need to see that in the chat <laughs> right now. Don't do it. H O three K rigged. <laughs> I saw you laugh, dude. But anyway, yes, this is definitely a classic H O three K rig. If we ever done did see one right here. So this is Ralphie's first time in Winners Finals in uh, quite some time. Finally coming back from the depths, of seeing in Winners side. Obviously, that's very important for him, especially when he's got to face off against the likes of Dill. But right now, this edge guarding. Looking very rough. Ralph cannot just find his way back to center stage. And he is dead. The, pl the pl platform? No. Could not you imagine? Tyler City just like hesitated like two more seconds. I got you, homie. Platform oh. San, why did you forsake me? That was almost a very bad spot. Dill would have like capitalized on that double jump. I was just about to again. say, if he like ran up and just fared below the platform again and caught his double jump. Could have been game right there. But he, he he wanted to play safe. I get it. Yeah. He, he wanted to he wanted to let Ralphie play the video game, just for a little bit. You Why? Know? I don't know, man. Maybe he doesn't want to win four Zenos in a row for some reason. He wants to keep the curse alive. But either Back. way, it's Ooh. looking like that very well might happen if Dill is able to keep playing like this and secure himself a spot in uh, Grand Finals winner's side of this uh, Zeno 132. But Ralphie, you can never count. You, you, you can never count Cloud out, especially one as proficient and good at this game as uh, as Ralphie, as he uh, risks everything for the edge guard right there. Going for the read, you know, trying to regain stage control would be Dill rolling in like that. No, acknowledging that is Ralphie. You know, it's not going to work out uh, too well for him as he's still down a full stock off stage, back at the ledge yet again, and Dill just all over this man right now. And a lot of players at Zeno have commented about how, like, they all feel frustrated when they fight against Dill because he never, like, overextends himself too much. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to, like, punish him. He, they feel like he's almost unpunishable. And we're definitely, like, seeing that right here where he just has yet to, like, get hit by, like, a back air or anything. I, I feel like Ralphie's very rarely exerted any sort of shield pressure against Dill this whole game so far. He, I mean, Absolutely. he had to. He wasn't going to make it, so might as well just throw out an attack while you're out there, out there instead of just wasting on the climb hazard. Waste that banana. Not dead. If he hit him with that banana, it definitely would have been it. A little uh, too high a percent to be able to go for any conversion, so he elects to go back on stage with the banana, but he will die to an up air for it. Dill thought that Ralphie was going to like immediately get up. That's why he walked up there with that up tilt, and that gave R Ralphie an important moment to come back up with that up air. Now he's thinking at 174%. He's literally a sneeze away, down tilt, banana peel, anything you want into an up smash, F tilt, up air, like he's going to die. So he's got to play out of his mind and safe as sound if he wants to bring this game to his victory. We even tried to go for an early gimp. That down tilt, very risky. He's going to pay the price for it. Mm, the Pied Piper, as I believe they say in uh, Pied Piper land. The, that's game one. The what? Pied Piper land. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna continue on that. Cause, okay. Yeah. Uh, I was just curious. Uh, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's a place. I, I, I we have time. You know, it was probably gonna play some over. So uh, you, I, th I know. think we should, I think we should talk about the stages. It, yeah, okay. And, uh, stage cool. Uh, Looks like we're going I'm to Lilac like Cruise. I'm not, I'm not that bad of a commentary. We have, we have Lilac like Cruise coming up, and um. That's this, an interesting pick. It's a, a pretty okay pick because Cloud is good on this stage, and usually if the triplats get banned like they w were by Dill. This is usually a stage that you'll see Ralphie pick. This or like Town and City. Yeah. Smashville is also a good. Like, College is pretty much good on any stage. As long as it, as long as he's got platforms to play with, that's all he needs. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, last place he'll ever want to go would be uh, Final Destination. You know, mm -hmm. like it's gonna be like, it's gonna be so much easier for Dill to land. So much easier for him to just like like plow through him in the neutral and no. everything. Missing both of those nares, unfortunately, but he's got him right where he wants him. And yeah. that's a dead Dill. That is a, uh, oof. And that neutral are putting Dill into a pretty bad spot. And now Ralphie only has 31% on him. Could try to like run away with this one and go into a game three. We've seen Ralphie lose game one and win the next two games in the past today. But oh no, forcing him to expend his limit. That forward error is something, a force to be reckoned with, dude. You may have a big sword, but he's got two monkey feet. Yeah. 
which is just about the size of a one buster sword. Ooh. Oh my god, slowly but surely though, he's tacking on that damage even more. That caught his jump. Dead. Oh no, no he had his jump. My mistake, it caught his up B, yes. ladies and gentlemen. As a cloud main 101, jump. you need to hold on to that jump for dear life if you don't have limit. And even if you do have limit, you want to hold on to that so you can hold limit. That was a really good play by Dill on the platform right there. Not uh, not pressing a button, uh, noticing that. Uh, ooh, Get him out of here. Dodge with the finishing touch. Dill rolling his eyes at that one. He is none too happy about that. Well, Dill's probably frustrated because he jumped at him. Like, Dill probably. Dill definitely has the patience to be able to just try to, like, go, you know, wait for the downer to go off. But he just jumped a little bit too early, got caught by the downer, put him into. Because it was the sour spot of down air after it started flash, stopped flashing green. He, uh. Was able to com combo that into a finishing touch. So, mm -hmm. Dill was just like, why didn't I just stay grounded, man? Why didn't I even try to punish that? Because Ralphie was playing the game correctly. He was on the platform, camping the platforms until the, the banana peel, like, disappears. And he has the lead. He had a stock lead, so why not? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if you heard that. Um, he threw the banana up, and the banana did not exactly come back down. There was a very distinct popping sound. Oh, yeah. I don't even... It was actually off screen. I don't think he knew that the uh, balloon was there. Diddy's Kong, Diddy Kong's worst nightmare. The oh, banana sure. peel hits the balloon by accident. For sure. Diddy's definitely have, like, nightmares before they go into, like, a Smash Brothers fight or something. And just, like, you know, them fighting on Town and City and their banana just not coming back down. It's a tragedy. It's, it's definitely a tragedy told in one part. Ooh, trying to catch that monkey flip. He falls with the up air and is able to get a fair conversion off of it slowly but surely. He was tacking on that damage and just comboing that grab within his banana as it falls back down. Dill is just so good at that. He's so good at like just the situational awareness of like where his banana is, like when he tosses it up and just waiting to see what his opponent is going to do like while it's in the air and just reacting accordingly. That's part of just what makes him the amazing uh, Diddy Kong player that he is, you know? And so far, it's looking like it's looking like it's working out just really, really well for him. As about there's a, as there's about a hundred percent different uh, percentage differential between these players already. Dill looking mighty pretty coming into game three. Now he's sitting at a very high percent, maximum rage though. If you can get like one slick combo going, it's all it takes. And he's looking for like a down air, neutral air, up air, anything to get like something started. You can try to space out those back airs. It's completely safe if spaced well. There's really nothing that Dill can do. Neutral air. Read the tech. Thought he was going to tech in. Doesn't matter. Has him off stage. Deletes the banana peel in the process. That's why I opted to go for that down tilt. And he tried to keep following him, but he just followed him a little bit too closely. Ended up dying. 82%. Is the nightmare of Dill going to continue, Austri? Uh, Well, Ralphie's still in this. He's got him at 96%. He just needs to solidify this kill. For sure, for one. sure. He's just got to keep fighting. He's got to get that limit is what he needs to, if he wants to be able to steal this stock out nice and early so he doesn't wind up taking too much percentage on the second one. Or you could just do a rising down air, a rising hard down air without the limit. You know, you don't even need the limit. The thing that is, works too. He took like 20 damage from that rocket barrel boost. And so like, that, was a, that was a big meaty hit. So at least still got like the last laugh, you know. Seeing a 64% final stocks for both competitors. Who's going to be moving on to Grands and who's going back to the loser side? We'll find out. I mean, Ralphie's doing a 75% already. He's trying to run around these platforms, find this opening, this defense I with tell the you, pivot grab. I can tell you this venue is definitely rooting for Ralphie right now. They want to see somebody else take the helm or just like at least like, <laughs> or at least like take Dill out and send him to losers. Sick of seeing this guy winning every week, unfortunately. Not that they don't love him, but you know what it is. But so far, it is looking really good for Dill, but he's got him in the air. Ooh, catch him back I thought he was going to get that monkey back. flip. Could you imagine? That would have been absolutely nutty. Especially considering he only had one stock. Okay, 152%. Alright, tossing the banana up. He's going to back air a couple of times for his pleasure. Yeah. That move is virtually lagless. Just setting up a wall. Ralphie's going to respect it. He's like, might as well just charge limit. Trades the downer with the up air. Unfortunately, not a good trade for Ralphie. Dill's going to be moving on to grand finals. And a 2-1 victory over Dill. Dill sitting in grands yet again. And you know what this is, honestly? I think New York City players are just not trying. I just got to say, as much as they used to, for right? all of you out there, for all of you New Yorkers that are in the venue, 